So the recording has started, just so you all know I'm recording this, so whatever you say can and be used against you <laughs> in, in a court of law. We're all ready. <laughs> um, hopefully not. Um, but, you know, stop me if you have any questions at the time. Uh, so to begin, um, these quick guides, um, I, it, it, when you registered, you got an email and it had a link to the quick guide, but they're, they're always available to you. So if you go to our website, which is www.spcollege.edu, and really, we are no longer WITS, by the way. Our department's name is Online Learning and Services. So but if you type OLS, you'll get to the WITS. Um, OK, so somebody, I'm going to have to mute everybody because I'm getting some feedback. Ah, it was Wendy. There we go. Um, when you come here, if you click, put your mouse over My Courses, you'll see a whole bunch of information about My Courses. And some of this is going to go away as we move fully into it, like features and that kind of thing. But you'll see where it says Quick Guides. And then across from that, Recorded Quick Guide Webinars, which after tonight, I'll be posting this uh, webinar on there. When you click on this Quick Guides, uh, right now, it'll give you a listing of what we have available. And this, this list will grow. Um, as we move forward. And so it, you can always come to these, and we're going to be doing the attendance one. And when you click on that, we kind of try to give you um, some information, a definition of this specific tool. I'll talk about what the rationale is in a second. And then maybe some alternate uses. And then the second page, or the second and third pages, would be video tutorials um, or, and step-by-step -step tutorials. And you can go ahead and print these out and keep these you know off somewhere if you would like and um, and use them that's the whole purpose of them uh, and any feedback from them that would be great so the attendance tool um, is as it says flexible and convenient the rationale for this it's very different than angels um, it's very different than angel let me go ahead and admit somebody that came in uh, so this is why we're starting with the very first quick guide with attendance because after we got done the training for the summer and the fall pilot for the summer and the fall pilot a lot of faculty were asking how do I do attendance what do I how do I do attendance um, so it is very different and it's more flexible so what I want to show you now is the way you do attendance uh, in D2L what you have to do when you do attendance is you have to click on reports on the nav bar and then attendance and then you'll see the difference here between what angel and my courses has is that it's nothing's there so you have to create what's called a register um, in order for your to put attendance in now I will state that you know attendance is not required in my courses but I know a lot of faculty like to use it and and, and I know that they like to, um, you know, to, to uh, have their students be able to see it also. So the first thing you have to do, and I'm sorry, I see um, somebody's saying I'm not seeing anything or hearing anything. Um, so um, what you have to do is you click on New Register. And you have to give the register a name. Now, traditionally, what you're going to probably do here is your weekly attendance. The cause for concern is if you want to put a percentage in there uh, for when you think students were going to have a problem, and it gives you a little alert next to that. So you could put that in there if you want, or you could leave it alone if you so desire. You don't have to do anything with that. So by default, it's going to give you three sessions here. So the next thing, you have to name each, ses each session. Um, the sessions in this particular case, this is a component of the attendance register. And you can define one or more events um, that apply to this register. Now, here's the next thing that's really kind of that you need to think about. You don't want to put, like, the actual dates. You don't want to put the actual dates that... Um, for the attendance because if you do that what's going to happen when you copy your course next semester 
It'll have the same dates. You're going to have the same dates, and you're going to have to change all of those dates. <sighs> Sorry, somebody else has asked a question. Um, so you'd have to change those. So my suggestion is that you use things like week one or week two. But even more than that, I wouldn't type the whole week. I would do like week one. Now, what's interesting is that if you have, let's say, a face-to-face -face class that meets on Monday and Wednesday, If you have a, a, a class that meets Monday and Wednesday, then again, I wouldn't put the date. So my suggestion is you do something like this, week one, that's day one, week one, day two, week two, day one. And then what you can do right here is you can add more sessions. So I can add, let's just say, three more sessions, and then I click Add Sessions. It'll ask you to save it. I'm going to go ahead and save it, and I'm going to type week to, to, and so you get the idea of how this works. This is what, you know, just a traditional one would be. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And you'll see this is a lot of interesting things in my courses. I'm going to go ahead and close it now. It's saved successfully. And there's my weekly attendance. And so that's how you set up a register. Now, once you have the register set up, the next step is how do you add attendance to it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the weekly attendance, and you'll see you'll get your list of your students here. And the way that I think is the best way to do it is if you click on this little icon next to each week, and you click on that, it'll bring up um, all of the students. And instead of me um, setting the status for each individual student, um, which you can do present, absent, or um, excused, holiday, or tardy, um, is set the status for all users. So if you click this, I can set the status for all users as present. Click Save. It'll say this action will overwrite. You go ahead and click Save on that. It puts the P in for everyone. And then you can go ahead and make the changes for the individual students. So instead of you having to click through every single student, and I only have a handful here, that's a way for you to do it um, for the individual students. And then you go ahead and click Save. And it's been saved successfully. Then if I click on Close on that, you get to see you come back to see what it looks like. It'll show you how many are present, how many are absent. Um, it'll give you the attendance. And then you can go ahead and do the next week. I mean, and that's how you do attendance. I mean, some other things you can do in here is if I click on the show search options, uh, there's a lot of filtering that you can do. You can choose a specific session or choose a total, and you can look for a specific student if you want, um, if they say, you know, that I was absent or was present in, in there. Uh, you can also export all the data um, and, you know, if you wanted then to bring it into Excel. So that is honestly again this is the whole purpose of the quick guides that is how you create a register um, for a traditional way um, and how you then enter the attendance um, I would like to talk about some of the alternative uses looking at the quick guide you know some of the other things you you know because this is flexible and it's not just about weekly attendance and dates some other things you may consider um, like keeping track of a group project attendance. Uh, so for example, um, I could have a set of dates for a specific group project and when those when the, that project comes in for each group, I can say I can put a present, for example, to know that that project was put in on that specific date and maybe absent for what wasn't. That's a different thing that you could do with it. Create a register for that. Um, you could track mandatory chat sessions. So if you had, um, a chat session, for example, uh, that was mandatory. Again, keep track of that so you know which students are, are absent and which students aren't. And then you could track um, for mandatory weekly seminars if you were going to do a seminar again. So, I, I mean, you could think of some other things, but traditionally, 
you know, this is what you'd use a, a the attendance for. Again, you have to create a register and then add the sessions to that register, and then you can go ahead and enter the attendance for it. So again, that is it. The next part of this is really any questions that you have. Um, yeah, I've got a question. I've got a question. Sure. Um, this is Jabe. I I annotate in my syllabus. I uh, inform students, I keep track of attendance and tardies, and I annotate the tardies, the first tardy, the second tardy, their third tardy, I turn into an absence, mm -hmm. which results in a penalty. Is there a way to annotate uh, the tardies that you would enter there and and make them one, two, and three somehow, note it so you could see that, and, and the student could see it as well? Uh, no, there there is no way to annotate that but okay. if you look over here in the totals, Jabe, you'll see right there that it does total up. So, I mean, I know I think in Angel it only totaled up the presence and apps or the absences. It only totals the absences. So right. here it totals everything. So there's the tardies that it totals. Okay. Um, All right. And All what right. was interesting here, it gave a 50% attendance on that tardy, which is interesting. Um, so I don't know if we went ahead and let's let's give a oh, who was that anyway. Let's give another tardy to train 30 there. Let's see what happens. And save. And I'll close that. So it gives a two. It still says 50% attendance. So I don't know what that percent attendance means. But at least it does give that right here. So the totals are, are provided there. Yeah, so it looks like it's penalizing somehow 50% for each tardy. That's it not, is. Uh, okay. All right. Well, I could maybe make that work for me. Um, uh, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't. I mean, I. There, so, the control of what is in um, this, in what's in here, you know, in the drop downs, is controlled at the um, at the system level. Right. So, but, and that little space just to the right of where you your pointer is now is is not some something you could type into or anything. No. Just to, okay. Yeah, there's no, no notes here. Got it. No notes. Okay. All right. Any other questions that anybody has about attendance? Okay. I mean, honestly, this is um, <laughs> this is a quick one. Um, I mean, that's how you do attendance in 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 D two L. Alan, do you, are there, what are the applications if you totally teach online? What would an application for, how would I use that then? Well, I mean, so I teach online, and so my attendance is based not if a student's there, but based on um, projects. Right, me too. So for me, um, I teach CGS 1100, and so um, ours are project-based, and so during the week the students have to get you know a, a number of things done and if they miss any one of those I don't like doing an or because that's a lot of work so they have basically for me I teach a six week class or eight week class so they have six items due they miss any one of those in the week I mark them as absent okay that's you know and so and, they, and they, that's in my absence policy um, I mean that's how I do it I mean uh, Again, you know, obviously you could do it if they log on or log off, but, um, you know, in online, you know, I like them to actually have to do something. Yeah. Okay. Because ours are assignment and post, you know, if they do their post and turn in their assignments, otherwise they're not there, I guess. So. Yeah. I, we agree. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and Roxana is typing. Hopefully she's able to hear this. I don't know. <laughs> she says thanks. <laughs> um, hopefully the next one will go a little smoother. I don't know. <laughs> and she heard everything. Good. Well, again, I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to stop the recording for now. And... Um,